All right, it's time to start doing some work again in this basement and getting it back under control, organized, and a lot easier to look at and manage. I went to Walmart because I wanted to try to find a more affordable option to keep my utility shelf more organized. And it's right now, it's just so much to look at. It bothers me. It's like constantly messy. So I figured maybe if I got some bins, I could keep it better organized and give myself the limit of the container to actually store these items. So I picked up two of the white lidded bins, one of the large, like the extra large utility bins, um, about 10 of the large bins, and then a couple of the smaller bins. So we'll give this a try and see if we can't get this a little bit more organized, just so it's not so messy to look at. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that when I first started this project in 2023, this basement was a complete disaster. It was totally hoarded. The floors were covered. Every single surface in nook and cranny was completely covered with stuff. After 2020, I just kind of believed that I had to prepare for the end of the world, it seems like. Um, so now I'm just trying to deal with the aftermath of that issue because it was just way too much. And I have gotten rid of so much stuff. Like it's unreal how much stuff I've actually gotten rid of. But clearly there's still quite a lot to deal with. And I'm just tired of looking at everything when I come down here. Even though I, I try to pick it up as much as possible. It's just so much to look at. So I kind of thought that if I gave myself the limit of the containers, then I would stop buying some things you know, if I, if that bin was filled, then I didn't have to buy anything else. And also it's just a little bit easier to look at when everything is uniform in the past. I think I've just always, I guess, kind of used whatever bins I happen to have laying around or gotten from the Dollar Tree or whatever, instead of like spending the money to actually get uniform bins, just to make everything look a little smoother. And when I walk down now, it's nice and clean and everything is organized. And I absolutely love how it turned out. And it was super affordable because I went to Walmart. Again, this is a basement. It's clearly needs some work. I mean, you can see like the wall. We used to have like a, I don't know, for some reason there used to be cabinets in here and a sink. We had taken all that stuff down because at one point, this basement was um, a playroom. Then we ended up building a second room in there for my youngest son. So it's kind of gone through a lot of different transformations. But um, I just wanted a place where I could keep all of my cleaning supplies and extra batteries and um, trash bags, all that kind of stuff. I just wanted a place to keep it all organized and easier to access when I do need it. The more time I live with the house as functional and organized as I've gotten it, like as far as the kitchen, bathroom, living room, I've pared down everything so much and I absolutely love it. So now when I come down into this disaster, it like stresses me out so bad. So, you know, I just can't justify like getting rid of things that we do use on a regular basis as far as like all-purpose cleaners and glass cleaners. Um there's soap, shampoo, conditioner, all that kind of stuff like we do use. So I'm just not okay throwing it all away because I know that it'll, it'll definitely get used. Um, but I know now that I'm not going to continue buying the things in the same way that I used to. Um, now, you know, if I have four or five extra all-purpose cleaners. Um, I also know that I can make my own. I have done that, but I do just like to use the Lysol and things like that on the kitchen on the kitchen counters, but um, I do know obviously that you can make your own all-purpose cleaner. It's definitely more affordable. And as far as like the shampoo and conditioner, I do have a bin right now for that, but my plan in the future is I also have a spot under the sink in the bathroom. So I'm only going to keep extras there once I get it down to that amount. Um, so that'll also be freed up. I just like having everything grouped together so I can actually see what I have and I just pull out the bin and grab it. It's super easy. This project was definitely a little bit um, overwhelming for me just because I just had so much stuff on the shelves. It was actually crazy. Like I was just looking at everything like what am I going to do with this? So the easiest thing for me to do was to just start pulling things off the shelf in the beginning 
and kind of take it shelf by shelf, put everything on the floor, see where the bins fit, and then see how everything started to get put together. I realized I was, I was able to fit about three of the large baskets and one of the smaller ones on each shelf. And then the top and bottom, I didn't end up using all of the bins just because of the larger items, like as far as like the hand soap and things like that. So I would just say if you have a large area with a lot of stuff and you're really overwhelmed just by looking at all of it, just start with like one of the shelves, start pulling things off and kind of see how you can rearrange things. Think about the containers that you want to buy before you buy them. And I'm going to show you later on in the video, a couple of days before I started this project, I had actually come down and removed a large box of items off the shelf that I no longer wanted. Um, it was a bunch of alcohol, peroxide, hand sanitizer, um, spray sanitizers, all that kind of stuff. I had taken out a whole box and I'm going to show you guys later on in the video. And I did try to, um, when I went to Savers to donate a bunch of other things, I asked them if they would take it. They said no. So all I ended up doing was putting it at the end of my driveway and somebody came by and took the entire box. So it was all still in date. I didn't put anything there that was expired and someone took the whole box and, you know, hopefully they get some use out of it. I did still keep some of the things that I wanted, but I had way too much. And the reason that I had all the peroxide was because my dog has been sprayed by a skunk two times. So um, we had bought in a lot of peroxide just because you need like a bottle or two just for the one bath um, to try to clean them until I realized that there was like an actual skunk cleaner that I ended up buying. So we had about four bottles of that. We've used two. I still have two left, but I just didn't need all of the peroxide anymore. We don't go through it that fast at all, but I did still want to keep a couple of bottles because they're it's good for other things obviously as well. I'm hoping this coming week that I'll be able to come back down here and kind of deal with some of the other areas that have gotten a little bit out of control and unorganized again. Um, just again, because we just have too much stuff and I'm trying to wean through it. It's hard. It's really hard for me to get rid of things that are very useful that I know that we're going to use. Um, but I am slowly getting more okay with that as time goes on. It just, it's just hard for me. So I kind of have to take things at my own pace and try to work around and still make things functional for our family as much as possible with what we do have. Obviously, I would love to just have this basement completely refinished and have somebody come down, put new flooring in and fix all the walls. And I would love to brighten it up. Hopefully that'll be sometime in the future. But for now, I think, you know, it's easy for me to say because it's a concrete floor and it's a mess that I can just pile stuff down there. But I don't want to do that. I really, you know, do spend a lot of time in the basement because I do laundry every day. And, you know, two of the kids' rooms are down there. So I don't want them to have to walk through this all the time either. So I've been really trying to keep it as clean as possible. But now I really want to get things organized and looking nice as well as just being organized. Unfortunately, we do live on a really high water table and um, we have some pumps. So the last couple of days we had horrible rainstorms again and one of our sump pumps went down overnight and we didn't know it. So again, we woke up with some water in the basement. That has been an issue that we've had for many years. Um, I'm hoping this spring my husband's going to be able to fix the sump pump like the, uh, the pumps basically outside and to pump the water a little further from the house, that'll be a lot easier. Thankfully, there wasn't too much damage. Um, we had caught it pretty early, so we were able to go to Home Depot, buy a new pump and have my father-in-law install that. So we were really lucky there. Um, but you know, that's just one of the problems we have to, I think we have to reseal the concrete floors. And my father was telling me something about this flooring that goes in with some sort of tube system underneath it. I don't know. I really need to look into it. But honestly, I can't even imagine like how we would redo the basement and like move all the stuff out of here to even lay flooring down. Like that just sounds like a nightmare to me. But if anyone knows anything about that, I would love to hear more about it because he says that the water basically will just travel in the tubes and never settle on the floor, never causing mold or mildew or anything like that. But I don't know. So what I'm trying to do is just kind of organize everything into bins. I did bins for the all-purpose cleaner, the wipes, bathroom wipes. Um, I had 
some extra vacuum. Um, if you watched my vacuum video, I ended up buying some extra filters just to have. I also have the extra filters and supplies for the Tinco, which is um, another basket that I made. <laughs> Best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. I was gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. Just because things do get a little bit dusty sometimes down here, I wanted a lidded, a couple of the lidded bins just for certain things. Like I ended up using them for the dusters. Obviously, I don't want a bunch of dust falling onto the dusters before I'm able to use them. So I figured that would be a good one for that. And I think the other one I used it for was just like those wipes that you that warm up in the cold. Um, obviously, we're not going to be using those anytime soon. Winter's just about over. Um, but I like to have them for next year. The kids sometimes like to take them out like when they're going out to the school bus and it's really cold. Um, they like to just have a couple in their pockets. One of the other things that really bothers me about the basement is those two baskets that you see behind me. Um, one is filled with towels that we definitely like to have just for like those are the ones that we don't use. We just kind of like to use them for messes. For example, when the basement was flooding, I ended up using a couple of them so we like to have those down there, but there's also like just extra sheets and pillowcases. And again, I've gotten rid of so many of them, but we still have quite a few. So I wanted to see if I'm able to figure out a different place in the house. I'm kind of thinking in my bedroom, I have um, something I could put them in, but I just have to, again, take care of all the stuff that's already in there in order to be able to store extra blankets and bedding and things like that. Um, we don't have a ton of extra stuff anymore, but as like we do like to have blankets the kids have friends over and you know they use the blankets but I've gotten rid of pretty much everything else everyone has I think one extra set of sheets for their beds um, but maybe I can start storing those in their rooms instead of you know in the basket down there and I'm sure that there's probably still still some other things that I could actually go through and get rid of now this is kind of what I was left with at the end. I was just trying to sort everything and figure out, okay, what am I gonna get rid of? What am I going to bring upstairs? Like for the dishwasher tabs there, um, I had taken one up because I knew that I had just used my last one. So I wanted to refill under the kitchen sink. And then there was a couple, like the OxyClean was going to go under the, um, in a container that I have by the washing machine because it was empty. The trash bags had to go upstairs. So I was just trying to get some things that I knew how to go back upstairs and then get the pile of things that I was going to donate and or throw away. I think I ended up having to throw away about three of the bleach containers. Um, if you don't know, bleach only lasts for about six months. Um, after that, it's really not potent anymore, enough to disinfect in the same way that it would be if it was still good. So I was able to keep one of them. It was still perfect. And um, I do like to, at times, clean out the sink with that. But um, unfortunately, I did have to throw a few of them away. And you're going to see later on that I had to throw away the pine saw and the, and the um, 
Fabuloso because it had been recalled. Another thing I'm trying to do is get rid of all of the plastic bins that I have that are just kind of mismatched and small. Um, I don't necessarily need to use them. I think that was the problem before is I was always just using what I had on hand and trying to fill these small little containers and it just didn't make sense. It just kind of made things look a little bit messy and now I'm just going to donate them. So this is the pile that we are going to donate and this is the one that's going back upstairs. Here's everything that I'm gonna donate. A bunch of alcohol, peroxide, some disinfectants, some sandwich bags, witch hazel, and a big thing of leaf bags. So a few days before I had gone to Savers, I we just bought a new coffee maker, so I immediately donated our old one instead of keeping it around. There's some stuff that I had taken out of the bathroom because I just redid that and some other things that I had laying around that I wanted to get over to the donation center. A bunch of books that I've had for a long time and just some other random things. Just a little reminder too, if you do have some cleaning products that you've had for a while, it's always good to check for recalls. Um, I checked both of these before deciding to get rid of them and they were both recalled. The Pine Sol was some sort of bacteria or something that could be in the solution and the fabuloso um, i'm not quite sure why it's recalled i think it has something to do with some chemical or some part of it that's missing but just uh you know just a little warning to go ahead and check some of your products that you do have all right and then i went through and labeled everything even though i ran out of tape i'm going to finish labeling everything as soon as it comes in from amazon here's a before of what it looked like just a reminder and here we are all done finally it did take a little while but I'm super happy with the way that it came out it just looks a lot cleaner to look at it's not so busy sorry the dog would not get out of the way he wanted to be on camera um, and then again as we continue to use things um, I'm not going to keep buying as much so we will eventually use all this stuff up and Oh, it feels good to have it nice and clean and organized. And now I can start working on different areas of the basement. So if you've hung around till the end, I truly appreciate you. Thank you so much for sticking through and I will see you next time. I had to put a couple things on the other shelf. So I'm just showing you that really quick. Bye.